All right, what is going on guys? Chris here back again with another video for you all today. So as you guys can see, welcome back to the fifth episode here of the series, which I have yet to name, uh, in the US Virgin Islands. Again, as you guys can see, we're back here on the flat. Now I know the last few videos have been here. Uh, only reason why is because this is one of the only flats on the island where you got tarpon, where you got bonefish, where you got snook, where you got, uh, of course, the lemon sharks, which I've been catching the last few videos. We're gonna first go after a couple lemon sharks just to get some fish on the board. Should be fun. I'm gonna get some great underwater shots for you guys and then, Hopefully we're gonna target some bonefish. Should be pretty awesome. That being said, before we start the video, guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you've not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get into the video, shall we? God, that was nuts. That was a bad fit. Alright, we go. Got him. Yeah, there's a little bit of shark bait here. We're gonna get one pretty quickly just to get you guys some a uh, little bit of action. Just a little bit guaranteed action in the video today. It should be fun. Let's go and see what we can get. Oh, now it's a jumping. Yeah, that's a shark. Did it just not realize it was hooked or something? Look at that. Well, there you go, guys. Little baby lemon shark here. Awesome little catch. About five, six pounds, I'd say. Average size for the guys you'd be catching out here. Let's go and get a release in this fish. All right, bud. Let's get you back. All right, guys. I think somebody just picked up our bait here. Got him. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's pretty big. This is pretty big, guys. What on earth did I hit his hook into? Either he's all wrapped up in seaweed or this is a big shark. Look at that rod then, guys. That is nuts. <sighs> big fish, guys. Really nice fish. I can see him on the surface. Is that a nurse shark? Guys, this might be a nurse shark. I can't tell. What is this? What do y'all think this is? It's big, really big. This thing barely put up any fight. Yup, big gummy, no way. We actually caught a nurse shark out here on the flats. No one didn't put up any fight at all. I was like, what is going on? If that was a lemon shark, this thing would be running for miles. Look at that. What's up, bud? Look at that. <laughs> what the hell? Big old nurse shark right here. What a beautiful catch. I'd say 50, uh, 60 pounds. Awesome fish. Not expecting that out here. I've never heard of anyone catching one out here. But uh, yeah, let's go and get her back. All right, bud. Let's get her back. Well, that was super unexpected. I, I did not think that would actually happen. I saw the rod go down right over and grabbed it. I set the hook and it was just like, it felt really weird. It was oddly big. Um, that was crazy. Um, didn't put a bit of the any fight because of the nurse shark, but still 60 pound fish, biggest fish of the trip so far. Look what that nurse shark just did. As soon as it got to the shore, bent that hook completely out of shape. That is nuts. Five odd circle, just gone. Let's go see what else we can get. I look at people and I wonder all day Who are you and you are not the one in your way? And then I think about myself and I stay I'm a pretty boy all right, what is going on guys? As you can see, this is the following day. I'm out here at a beach right now, uh, and I've seen a lot of fish blowing up. Pretty excited to see what we can do. Let's go and see what we can catch. Yeah, out here at a, at a little beach. Pretty close to the flat, actually, that we've been at the last few days. Guys, 
just check this out. We just got another mangrove. This time on a little jerk bait. Which is so cool. And there was a big school of them falling the twitch bait too this time. Nuts. You just fish on there, but really at all. Look at that. Beautiful mangrove. We have such a nice fight too in the ultra light. I keep on missing the hook sets too, which is really annoying, but. Alright, let's go get you back, bud. Oh my god, there we go. Got him. What we got here? Grouper. Nice little grouper. Cool fish. Look at that. It's one of those. Uh, Look at that gorgeous little grouper right there. I saw this one with the other mangroves chasing baits. Finally got him. Beautiful little catch. Just don't get a release in this fish. Uh, you're not gonna believe this. I was just fishing around with a little drift bait here, and uh, we just hooked up to a barracuda. Put on a big run. Look at that. That is so cool. Take a look at that, guys. Little cooter right there. Look at that, guys. They all so neat. Beautiful little barracuda. I'd say about uh, 16 inch or so. Beautiful fish. Put up a nice fight in the ultralight. A little drift bait. Beautiful catch. We're gonna get a release on this fish. No way. How oh, can you not? Did you guys see that? Look at the size of the schoolmaster. Whoa. That is a good schoolmaster right there. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, as you guys can see, my GoPro was so waterlogged, the audio did not come out at all. But as you guys can see, we got ourselves probably my PV schoolmaster snapper. Honestly, about 1.52 pounds. Great fight on the ultra light. So I'm going to release on this couch. Alright, well, what is going on guys? As you guys can see, I'm trying to be really quiet right now because it's 2 a.m. I'm in my dorm in college. I've been editing the whole night. Definitely a bit of a jungle of a couple of different days while I was fishing in St. John. Um, but yeah, had some amazing catches. Third barracuda I've ever caught, second nurse shark I've ever caught, which is also probably the second biggest fish of my life. Um, and also the PB School Masters are really nice way to finish things off. That being said, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Super excited to get this video out to you guys. And if you have not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.